Hi, just a quick answer to one of my followers on X, and I thought other people might find it uh, interesting as well. Well, I've done many of these, uh, like, uh, Dave, can you identify this part? Um, so let's do this again. This comes from uh, Juiced on X here. You can follow me on X. I post my daily whatever's there, and I'm handle EEV blog. There you go. So follow me over on the X Twitteries. Um, so Juice, can you tell me what this uh, part is? A DB 30 AD. So let's have a look at the image here the first thing you want to have a look at is the reference designator here um, on the silk screen this is the white thing q2 here now q indicates that it's a transistor it's not a diode if it was a diode it'd be d1 if it was a voltage regulator it might be reg1 or or v1 or something like that and q2 means just it happens to be the second transistor on the board um, so uh, yeah but q indicates that it's a transistor so we know we're dealing with a transistor Transistor here, and I can tell just by looking at this is a SOT223 package, but uh, we should not need that to um, help find this. Now, the next thing I notice in this is that uh, this F symbol here. Anyone old school will know that F symbol there is the manufacturer's logo and that is classic Fairchild they're one of the original um, uh, you know OG manufacturers of semiconductors so I know this is a genuine Fairchild jobby and let's have a look what else we've got down here okay you have a look at the pinout and where things lead like there's no bypass capacitors near it right so you know it's not a voltage regulator but we already know it's a transistor but even if the silk screen was there and didn't have Q or V reg or something like that um, you could tell it was uh, uh, this might be a voltage regulator if it had bypass capacitors on the input and output so it doesn't and we've got a diode here so this is some sort of possibly reverse protection diode and then if we follow this middle pin here sorry I don't have my drawery uh, program this is just a quick and dirty aha uh -huh, side motor L left I guess so this is in some sort of robot motory drive left and right motors or something so we know that this is a motor drive transistor so it's probably a mosfet uh for example um and we've got a reverse protection diode here uh to prevent back emf um from you know damaging this thing so uh, that's looks like yeah we've got a mosfet driver transistor here now the part number db 30 ad pretty sure that's a red herring that's the manufacturer's code so if you search for db 30 ad transistor i don't think we're going to find anything okay 30 volt uh, silicon bipolar transistor available at mouser right it's not going to be that okay <laughs> well could be but I don't think so. <laughs> no, these are old school, a classic jelly bean part, the BC549, okay? 559, no, it's it's not that, right? So what you're searching for here is the 459 underneath. That's the part number. And there's there'll be letters in front of that, but it doesn't have those. They that's just what they do. I don't know why. This space there to put all the letters as well. So this uh, DB30AD, that is a red herring. That is the manufacturer's code. Sometimes they put it above like this. Sometimes they put it below. So you can't be sure. Um, so yeah, if you try and search in, you, you can search forever. You're never going to find that. That is the manufacturer's internal uh, their manufacturing production code and that tells them something internally but you'll never find that in the data sheet so this tells them which production line which facility it was manufactured at when and using what process blah 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 they, they'd be able to trace that um but five four five nine is the proper thing we could just go four five nine transistor but I'm going to go Fairchild because I know that's a Fairchild so Fair, Fairchild 459 transistor boom FDT 459N N channel enhancement mode MOSFET MOSFET here we go there's our data sheet F FDT 459 it's in a SOT 223 package go figure there you go and uh, what can it be used for? <gasps> ah, no notebook power supplies, DC motor control. Bingo! And then it, like, you could use any MOSFET for motor control, but you know, they just put it in there. Gives you that warm fuzzy. That is definitely it. Uh, SOT223 package. Uh, there's absolutely no doubt that it's an FDT459N. So there you go, Juiced. It's an FDD 459N. Um, yeah, so lesson uh, for Trap for Young players out there. Um, just be aware of what rabbit hole you're going down with the part number there. In this case, 459 was it. What happens if we just go 459? 
transistor. I mean, you won't find it with just 459. Now it's getting a bit, okay. Well, Wagner Electronics, BF459, no, not there. 2SB459, no, it's not that. Um, FMMT459 from Diodes Incorporated. Uh, that is a bipolar transistor, actually, so that's inter that's interesting. Um, so yeah, 459, so that 459 part number comes in both bipolar, go away cookies, so that's interesting that um, 459 part number comes in both like a high voltage NPN um, bipolar transistor, <laughs> you can tell by the symbol there, bipolar, it's not a MOSFET, um, it can, but it's only in a SOT23 package, so, all to, all, so straight off the bat you would have ruled that one out because it doesn't come in any alternative uh, packages there, but it certainly you know, could have been a candidate, but wrong package. But you could put 459, and then you could put um, SOT223 transistor like that. I wonder if that... No, there you go. Um, it's coming up in the SOT23, so it's ignoring the SOT223 there. And, yeah, it's just a bit harder. So it looks like, in this particular case, putting Fairchild in the front, knowing who that manufacturer was and you can go search like symbols maybe with ai these days or google image search or whatever you might be able to say please tell me who the manufacturer of this uh transistor is and the, i don't the ai might be able to help you out um hal might be able to help you there but um yeah fairchild seems to be the particular keyword there so that's interesting so even putting in, in the package there that didn't help you had to put in fairchild and then boom we got lucky in FDT 459, but it shouldn't have taken much longer to get there. It should have been obvious that that top number, the DB30AD, that was a red herring. But sometimes, you know, you can chase a red herring down a rabbit hole and that might give you what you might think is a positive lead. I've been down this hole myself thinking that, ah, uh -huh, that's definitely the part number. It's not. It's the 459 there. Then, of course, we could guess that it's a MOSFET, for example. 459 MOSFET transistor. Oh, no, now we're getting SIA 459. Um, uh, Vichet Siliconics. That's a P-channel jobby. Really? Oh, isn't that pesky? Look at that package. What the heck's that package? Um, it's some sort of QFN thingy. Um, and then, uh, yeah, 22 weeks lead time. Thank you very much. <laughs> no thanks. Um, but that's interesting. That's a P channel. That's opposite to what we want. We know this is an N channel uh, jobby. So, yeah, you see how you can unfor get unfortunate coincidences with part numbers there, and that can really ruin your day. Um, it, it really can. So, yeah, it's given us... No, see, so just put in MOSFET, really, this is a nice example where you really had to put in Fairchild as the manufacturer, and that's where it came up, so, you know, we've got a bit lucky there that we could identify the manufacturer, sometimes you can't if it's some, you know, obscure Asian thing, or, or it doesn't have any logo at all, it's just got like, you know, FN2 or something like that on it, right? Um, and then you've got like no idea what that is. Um, so you have to do the lookup, those SMD lookup tables and things like that, which I've done uh, videos on. So there you go, that's a Fairchild FDT459N. If you found that video useful and you like this style of video, please give it a big thumbs up helps with the engagement especially with the views tanking on youtube at the moment for various reasons follow me on twitter i've been discussing that and as always comment and discuss down below catch you next time Hello.